So in this tutorial, uh, we're going to show you how to student exams through the scanner and just how you process through errors that occur and uh, issues with the scanner and, and just how to run that system. All right, so at this point, I'm going to show you how to run student scoring, the student score sheets. After you're done with the key, there's a tab right next to the keys tab that's the scoring tab. So we're going to click on that and it's going to pop up a new box here. There's some options along the right hand side. Only three of them are able to be selected. There's an inspect multiple marks. There's an inspect omitted marks and an auto enrollment. And this is what I was talking about in a previous tutorial where uh, <clears throat> you can actually have the, the PARS score system enroll your students automatically. You don't have to enter their names individually. This auto enrollment should only be used one time at the very beginning. When your roster is still blank, you can use the auto enrollment. After that, you don't need to select the auto enrollment. So your first exam, it's going to be all three. After that, you only need the top two options, inspect multiple marks, inspect omitted marks. These must be selected, because, and even though it takes a little bit longer to run the exam because every time something was erased and it looks like there's two answers, the, at least the PAR score look, makes it look like there's two answers, you have to do this or else the students are going to be marked incorrectly, uh, inappropriately. So these are always selected. The auto enrollment is only selected one time on the first exam of that class. At this point, you're able to run your uh, student score sheets. You're going to run them through the system in the same way. The scanner, this is going to be face facing you, and it's going to slide into the scanner just like the key. You're going to hit the score button right here, and then it's going to say processing scores, initializing scanner, and it says it's ready to start so you put in your score sheet one at a time only put in one score sheet at a time please don't put a stack in 10 12 15 of them it's gonna make the process a little more, more of a headache and a little bit more time consuming so just put in one score sheet at a time hit continue it's going to run that student score sheet And now it's going to tell me the process that I need to go through in order to fix any issues. If there's no issues, it's going to say last valid exam or last valid ID, and it's going to ask you to hit continue and move on. What this processing score sheet uh, screen says, see if I can move it in a little bit closer, is there's some multiple marks and omitted marks and you need to adjust those before you move on. So I click the edit button. Click the edit button which is right here. And then it's going to pop up another screen in the upper left hand corner up here. And it's going to give me that student's uh, printout of their score as was uh, scanned. Now in this option we have item number one was scored properly. Item number two was omitted. So then I need to click on that option, item number two, and look at their Scantron and it looks like they actually omitted that option. So we leave that alone. We don't add anything in there. Item number three had two uh, bubbles selected. When I go back to the Scantron, um, Item number three, which is right here, actually did have two bubbles. That's the student's fault. They didn't erase one of them. They thought it was multiple choice. Whatever it may be, I run off of whatever the bubbles say. And so that answer, per the, per the scanner, is correct. And I leave that alone. Then over here, I leave that alone. Four was good. Five also had been selected as a multiple 
marked item. So up here it's telling me the student bubbled in B and D, boy and dog. And so I go back to the Scantron and I look at the Scantron and when I look at it, I can tell that even though B was bubbled, they erased it and now D is selected. So B is there, but it was erased. So the student wanted to have D. All you need to do in the um, option here is hit D. D is now it. And once I've made my edits based on uh, looking at the, the score sheet to make sure everything was scanned correctly, I click OK. And then over here, once I've done my edits, I go ahead and click Continue. And now it says last valid form ID, the ID number, and it's telling me to insert the next one into the scanner. So then I would run the next score sheet. I'd click continue and run the next score sheet. Once I've run all the score sheets and I've made my edits, I'm going to go ahead and click end. And that's going to finalize those scores. And that is the end of how to score the student score sheets, how to make edits, multiple items selected, or omitted items. Uh, and I hope that is beneficial for your understanding as far as how this process flows. And once you get used to it, one or, like I said, one or two exams is all it takes to move through this very quickly. It saves a significant amount of time um, in grading as well as, more importantly, uh, even if you're a super speeder grady, super speedy grader uh, manually, it makes this more accurate and takes out the uh, subjective nature of grading. And it's just simply what is on the score sheet, what did the student put down, and there it is.